Uh, to me, the fundamental environmental issue of our time is that humanity as a whole, not just in numbers of people, but in terms of what we're doing in our activity, is becoming large, natural to the natural life support systems of the planet. And this is what we mean by planetary boundaries, that uh, many activities we do, that when, when we do them at small scale, like what food options we choose, how we use our waste, they don't have planetary consequences. But when they're large enough, they have planetary consequences. So the waste from our collective activity affects the, the carbon dioxide concentration of the atmosphere, or, or the acidification of the oceans, or the amount of plastic waste. Uh, the amount of resources we need uh, uh, deplete the surrounding biosphere. So choices that we make around whether we eat meat or vegetables has global planetary consequences. So in this sense, it becomes obvious that we're breaching or approaching planetary boundaries. And all the multifaceted problems we see around the environment are linked to this underlying feature that we're large compared to the planet. Uh, to me, planetary health is, a, is an interesting concept because that the health is, is also has two possible interpretations. At one level, it's the health of the underlying matrix of the planet that supports human well-being. And at another level, it is the well-being and health of those human societies based on the planet. And I think uh, it's that awareness of how these global biophysical aspects of the planet are as important to human health as the more immediate things such as disease or, or immediate human health factors or, or local factors uh, that, that make it an interesting co concept that there are broader transboundary issues, global issues that may have important consequences for human well-being now and into the future that is captured by this term.